half of the internet thinks making jokes about racism and anti-Semitism is a part of dark humor, while the other half thinks it completely crosses the line. And that is why TikToker Anna Schumann had to turn off all her comments after getting dragged for taking dark humor to the next level. If you guys have been on TikTok recently, then you've probably seen the TikToker Anna Schumann get into a huge controversy just this week. Now, for those of you who don't know of Anna, she recently started gaining a ton of popularity on TikTok, and most of her traction came after she joined the content house, not a content house which was later rebranded to another content house named Top Talent LA. Anna now has over 10 million followers on TikTok. And y'all, she is losing hundreds of thousands of followers after a leaked video of her had gotten exposed all over social media. But this specific video that was leaked, you guys, wasn't the typical type of videos you would see influencers and TikTokers getting exposed for. Like, saying the end. Now come on now! In fact, you guys, the videos of Anna that were being spread everywhere were about her and her followers making jokes about dark humor. Involving topics joking about things like the Holocaust, anti semitism and even Anna liking some of her followers' comments making jokes about racism. Obviously, people were mad that Anna was influencing her followers the complete wrong direction for even thinking about engaging with her followers in this way and joking about super serious topics like these. And to make it even worse, you guys, people were even more upset with the fact that all of this was only from about a year ago, making Anna 17 years old at that time. To which many people responded negatively, saying things like Anna should have definitely known way better for her age. Before we get into all the comments calling out Anna and putting her in her place on all her social medias, we need to of course go through some of the comments that Anna was liking and replying to from her followers that originally left the entire internet upset. Here were just some of the comments that people found extremely offensive that Anna had either responded to or liked on her spam account. After the screen recording had went viral everywhere, including TikTok itself, where Anna held most of her followers, Anna instantly got alerted about all the backlash she was getting. However, at the time she was getting all this backlash, she was on a flight on her way home, and here's what she quickly posted at the time being before publicly coming out with her apology. I'm currently on a flight home, and I wish the timing was better, but I will be speaking on the situation when I land and am back home. Anna then made a two-part series addressing this whole situation, and finally issuing her apology to everyone she offended. This was what she had to say. Hi everyone, so today I'm here apologizing about the video that I made right around a year ago today on my spam account. I was asking for dark humor jokes, and I was liking and commenting back to a bunch of like people like saying their own dark humor jokes, which was really unacceptable to me, and the ones that I liked and commented back to were very unacceptable and wrong in so many ways and um i'm here to say that i'm sorry to everyone that i have effective affected with that video and those comments and everybody to my supporters that have like supported me through it but like i don't want like any sympathy at all because that's not what i'm asking for and it's just wrong of me to even make that video in the first place and i'm owning up to it because it is the right thing to do since those comments and those likes that I did were very uncalled for and very just not good whatsoever. This is part two. Um, in no way was I trying to be malicious when I made that. I was just trying to make a joke, but that's no excuse whatsoever. There are no excuses for what I liked, commented, even making that video. That Making that video was the first mistake. Um, but I don't want anybody to defend me because it is wrong on many levels and I can see that now and I did like a few weeks ago too. It is very wrong. Those comments that I liked and commented back to, they're very bad and I'm very sorry for it. 
at that time I was 17, but that's literally no excuse. I don't like people like using that as an excuse. I was 17, I should have known better because I was about to be an adult and I turned 18 a few months later. I should have known exactly better what to do and that is my fault and I'm taking accountability for it for all my actions and for all the things I said and did. It is 100% my fault and I'm very sorry to my supporters and everybody affected and I just want you guys to listen. You don't have to accept my apology or whatever, um, but this is my apology and I'm very, very sorry for the things I said and did in the video that I posted. I'm sure, as y'all can expect, people were still very upset about this whole situation and how it laid out. Since obviously joking about serious and sensitive topics like race and anti obviously hurt people a lot. She made fun of Lynn and B. Hall. I will not be accepting the apology. Give her the same energy as Claire. She can go to she enabled her followers to make fun of Jews and the lifting of black people. We don't forgive you. I'm Jewish and I don't accept her apology. I could be seven and I would know better. Dark humor isn't an excuse for making biggest remarks. There are lines and a lot of those dark humor jokes are well past the line of funny and highly offensive and racist. After many hours of getting even more backlash, Anna decided to rephrase herself and make a few more statements over on her Instagram, saying, Yes, I know I can barely form a sentence. That's what happens when I talk fast in serious matters. No, you don't have to accept my apology. I just wanted you all to listen to what I had to say. Once again, I apologize for the statements I made and the comments I liked. It was very wrong for me to do, and I'm so sorry. Once again, I'm sorry my apology is not everything you are looking for but I do have a stuttering problem and if I talk too fast I don't form sentences and lose my words. If I was repetitive I am sorry too. I gave you a 100% real apology with very raw clips of me talking. At the end of the day I am human, I make mistakes and this is a very large mistake that I will be learning and growing from. Anyways I definitely want to know what you guys think about this situation. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love y'all so much, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.